Welcome to The Room 3. This is a puzzle game made by Fireproof Studios. You probably already know that because I just finished my The Room 2 playthrough. Starting this one right on the heels of that because I freaking love The Room 2 and I want to play more. Before I get into this, I just want to tell you what I know about it, which is that I think it has some new features in terms of how you interact with the world. Something about miniatures and like going in really, really, really close. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. And the other thing is that apparently this is a much longer game. The first two games were about two to three hours. I think this one is more like six or so. And I think it also has multiple endings, unlike the others. I've heard mention of some sort of a hub room that you keep coming back to, like a base camp that has its own puzzles. And those, whether you solve those puzzles or not, determines the ending you get. I don't know. Should be interesting. Let's go. Got the tutorial. Click and drag the screen to look around. Forget looking at the journal or anything like that. I want to look at the tea. So I wonder when this takes place, by the way, because the very end of the room two, we escaped back to the real world, I think. And the null stuff kind of came through and then exploded. That's about all we saw. So is this taking place after that? July 5th. AS is gone. Right, AS is the person that was stuck in the same room hellscape as we were, and also the person who was trying to help us, and did help us escape. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane, and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you, if only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th. I have awoken from the nightmare, but am forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work, as if to drown the memories, but it is no use. The knoll calls to me in my sleep, and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. Right-click to zoom out. Let's do that just to get the tutorial thing to go away. That would be one of the infernal boxes. July 19th. I've continued to petition the Royal Institute. There's something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July 21st. A breakthrough. As the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more, an undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. Ah! So that's what we're doing on this train. We're going to an island that somebody hinted us about. Oh, this is the page that they gave us, isn't it? That's probably a ball of null in there. There must be some import in the repeated symbols, shapes, but what? Possible celestial link? Sun, Earth, Moon... At the end of everything, the doorway awaits. The path to the past, the path to the future. I will flip through all these pages.
Is this actually going anywhere? Or is it generating infinite pages for me to turn? If I went back, how many... Oh, no. Oh. It would appear trying to flip these pages is fruitless. Something I'm wondering about, though. This starts with AS is gone. That's the person we saw letters from, like I mentioned. But it says his entire house is gone, which sounds like what happened at the end of the last game. Either a similar thing happened to AS's house, or were we AS? Is the place so messed up that we existed at two times at once, both a dead body inside that room, helping our past selves, and our other self escaping or something? I'm not sure. I have a key, but there's no keyhole on this box. We need the lenses. The wooden surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece for my suitcase. I've always loved that noise on suitcases, that flick. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Hidden panel. Miss Margaret Cox. They were mentioned in the last game as well. No remains found. Elusive owner missing. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Ah, I need to assemble the keyhole. Pyramid. Oh, well, there's the knoll. What? What happened? Where am I? It said something below the pyramid. Elpis, I think. E L P I S. Looks like we're in a dungeon. He's over chaining people up. I wasn't there before. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Greyholm, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls. Fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The knoll wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you, if you can prove yourself worthy. 
Your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room, and I will have gone to great effort in vain. The Craftsman. The power of fight, flight. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. My face is silent without my hands. The poor have me, the rich need me. Oh, this is a riddle? I don't think that riddle matters just yet until, oh, until I do that. Ah, the bottom piece, I can... Spin this, okay. Ah, so I need to select the right object. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. Well, it ain't poison. Uh, power of flight? Ah, power of flight, the well of knowledge. Yes, used for writing and used by birds to fly. My face is silent with, without my hands. That sounds like a watch. Yep. The poor have me, the rich need me. Ah, nothing. It is quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it is true as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. I'm excited to upgrade from our lenses. There's some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. That looks amazing. something strange on this door. Oh, we're going inside the lock. Uh, so what's my goal here with these tumblers? Do I need them to all be? I think I, I think I need these bits where they can separate to be in this line here. Yes. That is super cool. Is there anything else in here? Like, what about this? Well, that's a thing, but can't do anything with it yet.
nothing more here. Yeah, moving through rooms wasn't a thing in the previous game. That's entirely new. I see puzzles all around me. And in front of me. The key to the knoll will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then can you fulfill your destiny. So that's my goal, isn't it? Get the remaining four? Is this the key that I have? Yes. Probably goes over there. I see shields and stuff, and this kind of looks like a coat of arms or something. This is missing parts two. Only these four are adjustable. Hmm. I think it needs to be this, because the flag below it looks like this combined with the owl and the stars, which is what this looks like. Yeah, it's this combined with this should make that. That's the puzzle. So this combined with whatever this is should make this, uh, which what's missing is a cricket and a black line. That's not it. Mouse plus this should make... not that. Yes. That plus something should be a snake in the bottom left corner, some green. Yes. What is this place? I have to find a way out. So, is this one of the big puzzle rooms? And then this is the hub room back here. 
How many doorways do we have? Unopened. I guess that one, although that kind of feels like an end doorway. One. Two? That one's kind of gone. Three. Maybe that is the fourth one? So I'm assuming one of the keys will be in here. As you have discovered on your little adventures, contained within the Null is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I've watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross a street. But what of light years? What of eons? You've barely even begun to tap its potential. I've charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the Null. I've measured it, even seen it. But I cannot reach it, not without your help. But first I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning. This thing doesn't have any power. Same with this. I don't think there's any point in messing with stuff without power. Let's get the power going. Okay, what the heck am I doing and what's my goal? Is it just... Oh, it's just to get the power to the other side, Is is it? And I probably always have to connect positive to negative, right? So it's in this one. Um, oh. This shows you... Eh, it just shows negative. Uh, negative, positive, negative. So that will be positive to positive, so I can't do that. Positive to negative, yes. Oh. I think I have to match the waves. It's changing the speed. This is changing the... I forgot the term. Amplitude?
Not sure I wanted to go through that door just yet, to be honest. Can we go back? No, not right now. Wooden gear. Oh, I thought that was a switch, but it's not. Oh, this is where it goes. It's a handle. Ah, oh, yes, contour lines. I love how close we can get to these little buildings. We can go inside of it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Thank you, little snake friend. Magnet that connects into something with a plus sign. That's an entire building missing, I think. Same over here. We already read this note. No, we didn't. What is this place? Yeah, look at that view. The pyre, <laughs> underlined and very bold, the pyre has not cast its light in many a year. Ships need no beacon to warn them of this place. Travelers such as ourselves, however, require such things to find our path. A light in the black. The way ahead is dark, a darkness even the blind can see. The name of this tower will reveal the way. Pyre? Uh... How the heck does this work? Okay, so that's pointing at P. You just need two of them to point at something? Y. 
Why is all the way over here though? How do I hit that one? Uh. Point him in its general direction? Nope. How the heck? Well, if two of them next to each other will like hit this one, what if I do two of them not next to each other like ah yeah that's where the points intersect i see so imagine lines coming out of the tips of these and wherever they intersect is the letter we hit so we need the outside ones so this has got to be that one and this one No, actually. Oh, that one actually doesn't need to be turned at all, does it? Hmm, no, it does. So, the middle one. Carved wooden arch. No, oh, I think it goes here, actually. <laughs> 